morning, sir. Good morning. Passport, please. Certainly. Now, you understand you've entered the Red Channel, which means you have goods to declare? That's right. And you've just arrived from Thailand? Yes, ten days of beautiful sunshine. Well, it seems in order. Thank now, you. what do you wish to declare? Right. Two bottles of scotch. Yep. 400 cigarettes. And 14 kilos of heroin. <laughs> 14 kilos of heroin? Yeah, I know it's not much, but I couldn't get any more in a suitcase. <laughs> this gun took up most of the room. <laughs> well, how do you think I got the heroin? I don't just give it to you, you know. I had to blast my way through the back streets of Shantytown to get this little lot together. <laughs> now, how much money do you want? Look, if you're attempting to bribe me, sir, I must warn bribe you... Bribe you? What do you think I am, a mug or something? I'm declaring this lot so I can pay the duty on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you understand, sir. You can't pay duty on heroin. It's a banned substance, and as such, it can't be brought into the country. This is Sherbet. Sherbet? Sherbet! I'll kill that Kim Chung one when I get hold of him. <laughs> well, if it's any consolation, sir, it is 100% pure Sherbet. Current street value, oh, £4.50. And this gun. It's an obvious childish fake. Let's see what else you've got in the suitcase. What's this? No, don't touch that. Why not? Just don't touch it, that's all. Well, what's this button for? No, don't, don't press that button. It's only a button. I know it's only a button, just don't press it. had a really strange dream. Who were you phoning? No one. That was work phoning me. Seems like a funny time for you to start making phone calls. No, I was I just... suppose you're ringing Gloria again. Can't keep your hands off her for five <sighs> minutes, can you? We've been through this before. I'm not having an affair with Gloria Honeyford. Then how come I found a blonde wig in the car? That wasn't a blonde wig. That was a box of hay for the rabbit. <laughs> not much difference, I admit. All right. Explain this to me. Last Tuesday, you were away on business. I was in Manchester. And Gloria Honeyford wasn't on television that night. Bit of a coincidence, isn't it? Lots of programmes weren't on television that night. That doesn't mean I'm having an affair with Champion the Wonder Horse. <laughs> you are impossible. Sometimes I think you only married me for my money. Don't be stupid. I married you for your father's money. <laughs> I said he only had three weeks to live. That was five years ago talk about my father's money when you know he's still desperately ill. Didn't stop him entering the firm's tennis championship, did it? Tennis is all he's got to live for. Yeah, well, he puts his opponents off dragging that life support machine around the court with him. <laughs> Just because he 
lost to him. Oh, what chance did I have? <laughs> It's all over. Oh, I was having a nightmare. Oh, that'll be the gas. It often has that effect. Oh, I was playing tennis. There was something about a phone box. I was taking a gum through customs. Yes, well, at least that wisdom tooth won't give you any more trouble. Oh, good. Oh. Oh, there was a slight complication, but nothing to worry about. Complication? Well, it was a very tricky tooth, so I'm afraid it became necessary to castrate you. What? <laughs> Are you all right, darling? Yes, I think so. If you hurry up, I'll give you a lift to the surgery. I dreamt I was awake just now. Hurry up. You know I've got a busy day today, darling. I'm meeting the architects at 11. See that cat's woken up. Been asleep all morning. I wonder what cats dream about. It's dinner, I should think. Yeah. You're probably right. 